In Creo Parametric 12, there is a new command from the editing overflow menu called approximate surfaces. And this will create a surface with a single patch from a quilt or a body with multiple patches. Let me show you how this works really quick before I go into some of the details. Here I have a part model. There is a boundary blend at the end. I created this model a long time ago in an early video on boundary blends. And you can see that our boundary blend has a lot of patches on the surface. So I will go to editing and then approximate surfaces. And then I will select this surface. And oops, let me select it with the left mouse button. And now it is selected. You can see a brief preview. I will go into more of that in a moment. Let's hit the check mark. And now we can see that the surface has been replaced with another surface and there are no patches on this surface. Let me go back to the approximate surfaces command. Make me approximate surfaces. I don't know the correct pronunciation. Approximate, approximate, whatever. Let me edit definition. And so in the interface, first you have the choice for the attachment. You can choose to replace the surfaces with the new one or you can copy the approximate surfaces and trim them to the boundary. And the original surfaces will still be in the model. And then there is copy untrimmed, which will create a new surface and it keeps the original surfaces, but it does not trim the copy at the different boundaries. Over here, we have our connection. You can choose between G0, which means that the surfaces are connected or you can choose if you want to have tangency. If you choose to have tangency, then you can choose if that tangency is going to be relative to the neighbors or relative to the references of that feature. There's also connection handling. So if you try to create the new surface and it is not able to create it, you can choose the relaxed option instead, which will give you a little bit more wiggle room for the different boundary conditions. And also, if you go to the advanced tab, here you can choose the approximation scope. So by default, it is set to interior and boundaries, or you could choose boundaries only. You'll notice that preview went away. By default, if you're using the interior and boundaries, you're going to see the full extent of the surface that would later be trimmed back to the original boundaries. This collector here for excluded edges allows you to fill in different holes. So let's say that there was a big hole on the surface. You can select a bunch of different edges and then it will fill in the hole with the approximate surface. And so that is the feature. Let me hit the check mark in order to complete this. And so with this particular feature, I used it on a native Creo parametric surface, but Let's take a look at another example. Here is some imported geometry from a step file. I forget where I got this from, but this is for a joystick. And we can see, especially up at the top, we have a number of different patches on the surface. So let's try to approximate them. I will go to editing, approximate surfaces. Again, I'm guessing on the pronunciation. Let me select this pat or this surface, this quilt which contains even a very little patch down here at the bottom. So we've got multiple different patches in there. And so I will accept all the different defaults. Let me hit the middle mouse button. And so there we have that surface or that surface with multiple patches replaced. I can do that on the other side as well. Let me go to editing and proximate surfaces, approximate surfaces. I'm getting really tied up over the pronunciation of this command. Okay, and there we see that one. Let me do one more. Here we can see a surface with three different patches. I'll go to editing and then approximate surfaces, approximate surfaces, hit the check mark. And there we have that one taken care of as well. So there you can see some of the results. And one last example to show you. Here is a solid part. And over up at the nose, I've got a bunch of different patches over here. Maybe I want to get rid of all those patches. 
depending on some of the maybe advanced commands I want to do later on. So I will choose the command and then I will select using the control key multiple different patches in our body. You can select multiple different patches from a single body. That looks good. Let me hit the middle mouse button. And there we have the nose of that replaced. If I rotate around to the inside surface, you can see that over on the inside, we still have the individual patches. So I might need to go to the command once more and do that on the interior surfaces of the solid. So let me select those using the control key as well. And then middle mouse button. And there we have the approximate surfaces generated. So there you have it, a new command in Creole Parametric 12.